So Taste of Japan is uh, Jazz's opportunity to showcase uh, aspects of Japanese culture that we really enjoy, and we feel like the public will enjoy it too. There are a lot of sub booths, the goldfish scooping, the challenge course, the photo booth, and all of these different things, like uh, those are our biggest ones. And then it goes into like an arts and crafts style booth. And also we have these like, cultural and informational booths that can go from talking about lifestyle to talking about music and it's just like small, small sections of Japanese culture. I got a goldfish, yeah! <laughs> The fisherman dance is called Sorambushi and it imitates uh, fisherman moves as well as the ocean. So we're going to have moves such as pulling of the bow and throwing the net across or behind our backs. Um, and we're going to imitate um, moves of the wave and this is actually a pretty common dance in Japan. aspects to Japanese culture and not just like what we know here in the US so it's a great opportunity to understand the different realms of Japanese culture like dance, art, traditional stuff. Because there aren't many Japanese people here, um, what bonds everyone into JASA is the um, interest in Japanese culture is not just oh because you're Japanese come into the group, it's more like oh you we like we both like Japanese culture. Why don't we talk about it? Why don't we have an event for this holiday in Jap in Japan? So we actually try to get more people who are actually interested in Japanese culture together. So it's not just Japanese members.